and welcome back to another episode of Chuck Overhang. Yeah, I've done several videos on Chuck Overhang, but uh, I recently did a video where I modified a Chuck to reduce the overhang, and it helped. Uh, I got a few comments like, uh, learn how to adjust your lathe and you won't have that problem, or I don't have any problem, or whatever. But regardless of what's causing a chatter problem, or... Uh, you know, depth of cut issues, bad bearings, whatever. Reducing overhang on a lathe in general is a good idea. Now some lathes, if, you, if you're talking about a two and a half inch spindle, uh, you're probably not going to notice the difference between one chuck or another. But when you're dealing with a uh, inch and a half spindle, uh, which is a very common older lathe size screw on spindle, uh, Chuck over, overhang makes a huge difference. Now let me show you what I got here. Take a look at what we got here. This is a 6 inch chuck and I have a terrible time with it on my lathe. I'm glad I got it because if I got something big I can take lighter cuts and make it work, but you can forget about doing any kind of cut off with it. It shatters a bunch. Uh, but that's a uh, after modifying it, I took part of that donut off. It's four and a half inches in depth. Okay, here's the one I just modified. And it's uh, three and three quarters in depth. Here's the Logan Chuck. Two and a half inches in depth. Two and a half inches to four and a half inches is a considerable amount of difference. Uh, right here... These are basically the same chuck. They're, they're a different brand, but they're made the same, same dimensions. Uh, may have came out of the same factory, but they got a different brand name on them. But that's the one I just modified. And uh, this, this is the one I just modified. It's three, a little under three and three quarters. And that's a four and a quarter. So I've reduced the overhang by a half inch, which doesn't sound like much, but this chuck does better than this chuck. Uh, if you look, let's go look at my lathe. Okay, this is my Logan lathe. It's got an inch and a half threaded spindle. Uh, this is a very good lathe, and that, that spindle is common to a lot of South Bends, Logans, uh, Atlas, and, and several others. Uh, but if that was a two and a half inch spindle, uh, it would be probably ten times more rigid. Maybe, maybe even more than that. Uh, so this size spindle has some limitations. If you've got a inch or two and a half inch chuck, or two and a half inch depth chuck, that's not much leverage there, but if you've got one sticking out here four and a half inches, that's a tremendous amount of leverage when you're trying to turn something or especially doing cutoff. Uh, so you just got to accommodate for that. Uh, I've made a new cutoff tool here. Some of you may have seen the video. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it addresses some of the weaknesses in the compound cross light on this lathe. Uh, but that's that's the other thing you got to take into consideration. If you're dealing with a uh, 15 inch uh, Monarch lathe, this compound and cross slide are going to be really solid. Uh, on this lathe, they're fairly solid, but that is a limitation. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this demonstration. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to cut this off. I'm running about 450 RPM. Uh, it's going to chatter. Uh, the, it's not real bad and it'll go away. Uh, I could increase the feed rate and probably make it stop, but I just want to demonstrate something here. Here's the auto feed.
Okay, that did okay. I don't like that chatter. But I'm going to leave all the lathe settings the same, except change the shut. This is a chuck that I just recently made a backing plate for that reduced the amount of over overhang. It has no donut on the back and all the threads are on the inside. And this chuck I'm putting on here is the original Logan chuck. And if you look at that, it's very narrow this way. I made that other chuck because this chuck is getting worn. But it's still a good chuck. Okay. Now let's see how this chuck does. Same speed, same feed rate. just about wraps up another episode of Chuck Overhang. <laughs> uh, I know there's going to be some comments like learn how to adjust your lathe and uh, or you need to check your bearings or whatever. But that's really not the point I was trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is that Chuck Overhang is something you need to consider. Uh, there's always things you can do to make chatter better, increase feed rates, speed, uh, adjust your gibbs, uh, check your bearings. I mean, it's a huge list. The chuck, chuck overhang should be near the top of that list, at least on a smaller leg. Anyway, that wraps it up, and thanks for joining me. Be sure to subscribe.